Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. NASA-funded telescopes have their eyes on the sky all the time. Gianluca Massi, an astronomer and founder of the Virtual Telescope Project, has been tracking 3i Atlas for months. On the night of November 10th into the 11th, he aimed his robotic telescopes toward the eastern horizon from Manciano, Italy. The conditions were far from ideal. The comet sat just 14 degrees above the horizon, which is very low. You're looking through thick layers of atmosphere, dealing with distortion, haze, and light pollution. There was also a moon, 61% illuminated, shining about 70 degrees away from the target. Most photographers would have waited, but Mossy didn't wait. He programmed the telescopes to take 18 separate exposures, each one lasting exactly two minutes. Then the computer would stack them together, combining the light and filtering out the noise. At 11.31 p.m. Eastern Time, which was 4.31 a.m. GMT, the images finished processing. There it was, a sharply defined, luminous tail stretching across the darkness. It wasn't faint or barely visible. It was clear, structured, and unmistakable. Mossy posted the image with a single observation. We see how the ion tail of 3i Atlas is clearly showing better and better. But he had images from just days before, from November 6th and November 10th. When you compare them and put them side by side, the tail is growing. November 6th was the first image after the comet re-emerged from behind the sun. The comet was only 10 degrees above the eastern horizon, and an almost full moon was setting. The conditions were terrible, but even through the glare, you could see it. A faint tail, present but subdued. Four days later, on November 10th, conditions improved slightly. The comet had risen to 12 degrees above the horizon, and the moon was about 85 degrees away, farther, but still bright. The tail was more visible and more defined. Mossy noted it immediately. We clearly detected the ion tail of 3i Atlas. But here's what matters and what the images are telling us. Mossy wrote, Now that the comet is moving into the morning sky, its tail, which was behind the nucleus as seen from Earth at perihelion, is more and more visible. Perihelion is the closest point to the sun, the moment of maximum solar heating. As the geometry changes and Earth's viewing angle shifts, we're seeing something that was hidden before. Then came November 11th, the image that changes everything. The tail stretches roughly 0.7 degrees across the sky, which is wider than a full moon. It's not just longer, it's more structured and more organized. There's even something else, an anti-tail extending in the opposite direction. That's dust trailing along the comet's orbital path, visible because of our viewing angle. Three images over six days, and each one shows more activity than the last. The question is, why? An ion tail doesn't just appear, it's created. Here's what's happening inside that photograph. As 3i Atlas moves through the inner solar system, the sun's heat penetrates its surface. Frozen gases like carbon dioxide, water ice, and other volatile materials begin to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas. These gases escape from the nucleus, and that's when the sun's ultraviolet radiation hits them. It strips away electrons and turns neutral molecules into charged ions. Then the solar wind takes over. It's a constant stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun at hundreds of kilometers per second. It sweeps these ions away, creating that long luminous tail. 
the tail always points directly away from the sun, no matter which direction the comet is traveling. Now, look at those images again. November 6th shows a faint tail. November 10th shows a clearer tail. November 11th shows a dramatically extended tail, sharp and structured. That progression tells us something specific. The comet is venting more gas, and more material is sublimating from its surface. The activity is increasing. But there's something else in these images, something the photographs captured that's even more significant. The detail and the structure, despite the low altitude, despite the bright moon, despite looking through thick atmosphere, these telescopes captured fine structure in that tail. That means the ion tail isn't just getting longer, it's becoming more developed and more organized. The solar wind is sculpting it into something complex, and that suggests we're watching this comet become more active in real time. MOSI and the Virtual Telescope Project will keep photographing. Every clear night, every opportunity, they're building a visual record of this comet's journey through our solar system. On November 17th, they're hosting a live stream where anyone can watch as they capture new images in real time. Those images will keep coming week after week, documenting how this visitor changes as it moves away from the sun and heads back toward interstellar space. The November 11th photograph, those 18 stacked exposures, represents something more than just a pretty picture. It's evidence scientific data, and proof that we can study these interstellar visitors if we're persistent and if we keep watching, even when conditions aren't perfect. Masi could have waited for a better night, with no moon, higher altitude, and perfect seeing conditions. But he didn't wait. He photographed it anyway. Because of that, we have this record, this sequence, this proof that something from beyond our solar system is becoming more active. Three images over six days in November, each one revealing more than the last. A tail that stretches farther, glows brighter, and shows more structure. An object from another star system captured at 4.31 a.m. on November 11th by robotic telescopes in Italy showing us that interstellar visitors don't just pass through, they transform. Now we have the photographs to prove it. Somewhere out there, other comets are traveling between the stars. Maybe some of them are heading toward us right now. But this one, 3 I Atlas, we're watching it, photographing it, and documenting its every change.